there. Good morning. It's Thursday. Woo! There's the chickens getting themselves some water in this really cool thing. Have I ever showed you this? Right? This is cool. Like it's a it's on hinges. Oh, like they don't like that I'm doing it. It's a Oh, it's kind of heavy covered with ice. <laughs> I didn't realize that was gonna happen. <laughs> anyway, good morning. I'm out here in the chicken yard. Uh, it is Thursday. The day after New Year's Day. Did I have a great New Year's Day or what? I can tell you I did. Started off with that fantastic hike. Look at these beautiful eggs. Woo! Started off with that fantastic hike. And then I went over to Rocky's house where there was all this... This is a huge food. A huge food display because it's her New Year's Day walk-in event. You know, there's like a beverage room. Hi, girls. You know, and then you walk in and Chris is cooking all sorts of stuff. And there's a buffet of stuff. And then there's like a long table of people going, Hey, Happy New Year. Come on over and chat and visit. It's like, what? It's like, great. And then, uh, they're feisty over there. Uh, and then uh, I went down to my mom's to celebrate Christmas because we're not here um, on Christmas. And... Uh, that was great, and then I didn't get home till whew, one o'clock in the morning. So guess who's super glad you don't have to work today? Me, really thankful <laughs> I didn't have to work. So anyway, one thing about history today. In 1897, Stephen Crane, the guy who wrote The Red Badge of Courage, he's on a boat to go to Cuba to cover the insurrection against Spain, and his boat sinks, and he's out on a lifeboat for 10 days, and then he writes the story, The Open Boat. I don't know if you know that's how that story came about. That is how it came about. Uh, so uh, listen to me, people. So the clouds are rolling in. A little bit of sun left this morning because I'm so late. And it's going to be up to maybe 42, 43. Get outside, do something fun. Keep this new year rocking. I'm out. Goodbye.